Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling and much appreciated you guys making some time out of your day to watch the video. It's always much appreciated. Today we're going to talk about the two techniques that's going to allow you to catch the most, the biggest numbers of bass in the month of April than you're going to catch all year long. Guys, the month of April is the month for numbers and I'm going to have a little, we're going to give a little seminar here on how you can probably maybe catch your own personal best day for getting the most numbers of bites and the most numbers of bass in the boat here. Um, real quick before we get started here guys, just the weekly reminder, I'd uh, just like to invite everybody to please swing over to fishthemoment.com, check out our spring lake map breakdown. Speaking of the month of April, um, we got a great a lot of greatest lakes in the country on the website there. You got a great a lot of great April locations in these breakdowns. I'll put the fish the moment uh, lake map breakdown link in the description if you want to check them out. Much appreciated. Okay guys, there's, um, you know, we talked about last month a little bit about how the month of March is the best month of the year to catch big fish. Um, without a doubt it is. And uh, sort of the flip side to that is once you enter April, in my opinion, April is the number one time of the year to catch the most bass in one day. You can catch your biggest bass in, in March, you can catch the most bass in April, and you can catch some good ones too. So I want to talk a little bit about why that is and, and two of my favorite techniques as far as catching just sheer numbers of fish this time of year. So the main reason is that in April, for the most part, unless you're down way south or something like that, um, there are more bass shallow in the month of April in most lakes across the country, um, unless you're, like I said, unless you're way south or way north. Um, that are there's more bass in April shallow than any other time of the year. I'm gonna guess there is a bigger population of bass that live in less than five foot of water in the month of April than there is any other time of the year. There's a just I think the majority of them are in shallow water that time of year, depending upon the time of the month. Usually, when that water temperature starts to hit around 60 degrees or upper 50s, that's when you got a huge migration of fish that move shallow. And a lot of these fish, when they move shallow that time of year, they're feeding, they're actively biting, they're aggressive, and that's why all the big number days I've ever had, all my like 100 plus fish days have come in the month of April. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about what you need to look for and, and how you need to fish there. So the main thing is when you're, when you're looking, if you're just out there to catch a bunch of fish, like you just wanna get lots of bites, there's a couple different things you need to look for. First of all, Here's my advice. Um, on whatever lake you're going to, pick out one or two of the biggest creeks in the lake. And, uh, and generally, those creeks need to be sort of in the lower the lower to mid part of the lake. That's going to be the best creeks to, to do this technique in. Because in my opinion, the, the biggest numbers of bash live sort of on the lower end of the lake. I just think that sometimes they're harder to catch, but I think there's more fish that live on that lower end of the lake than anywhere else. So pick out one or two of the major creeks on that mid to lower end. The first thing you want to do is go about halfway back into those creeks and start um, looking at looking at for looking for some coves or cuts or smaller creeks off that main creek. Go in those areas, and the first thing you want to do is to identify like some subtle secondary points. These subtle secondary points within those coves within those major creeks will hold large numbers of bass this time of year. And my way, my favorite way to catch them is with a shaky head, just a four inch a zoom finesse worm, eight ounce shaky head, usually six to eight pound test line. And um, I'm fishing it, you know, the water clarity dictates how deep, I fit, deep I'm fishing, but it's anywhere, you know, usually between three to 25 foot deep. If you've got a real clear water lake, say you've got water visibility in a lake that's, that's over six or seven feet, and if you have, a, especially if you have a mixed species lake, like that's got small mouth spotted bass and large mouth, there'll be a lot of fish in that 10 to 20 foot zone. Some of them are even spawning. Some of those like small mouth and spotted bass will even spawn on those secondary points really deep. But a shaky head is one of the best ways to get a ton of bites on those particular areas. Now you can also, um, you can also just sort of work your way back into those creeks too. Sometimes, if you're getting a lot of bites on those secondary points, sometimes you can just start going down the bank in April. This April's the only month you can really do this, but just start going down the bank with the shaky head, fishing again that five to 20 foot of water and just start picking your way back through there. 
Now, once you get back to the back two thirds part of the of the co of the creek in there, you and generally a lot of these time these areas they start to flatten out a little bit. And these are the areas that you've got larger numbers of fish that are actively looking to looking to spawn, looking to build beds, spawning, or even some early post spawners. And the best lure to catch numbers in that condition is a wacky rig. I like to use a wacky rig on a zoom trick worm. I use a little bitty one out Gamagatsu light wire hook on there so it'll fall real slow. But as far as getting bit in those little bit shallow or flatter areas when those fish are, are really close to bedding, you can't hardly beat a wacky rig. And again, I'm fishing it anywhere between say three to maybe 10 foot deep, depending upon how clear the water is. And, uh, you know, I'm, sometimes I'm looking for them, sometimes I'm not, but usually I just go just, you know, just fan casting back in the back parts you know, really trying to fish slow and methodically with that. So the thing that you got to realize with guys is when in April, the, the most of the time, the bass aren't in a real chasing mood. April is one of those months where you catch a lot of fish on bottom bouncing lures, you know, like your shaky heads, your Ned rigs, your, your wacky rigs and that type of stuff. But there's no better way to catch large numbers of fish than what I just told you. I, you know, I've done this all over the country and some of the, like I said, the days I've lost count of how many bass that I'm catching are with these two techniques in the areas that I described there. And it doesn't last very long. I mean, those fish, a lot of, they don't like to be up there a lot of times just on those bare banks shallow. So they get up there, they do their deal, get out of there, and then they just spread out the rest of the lake. But if you're talking about water temperatures in the you know upper 50s to upper 60s, that's the time you need to get out there guys because there's not a better time of year to catch bass when you've got water temperatures hovering around 60 degrees in april that's the premier time for bass fishing anywhere you're out in the country so hope it helps out guys we'll talk later see you